So these are the lenses we're going to be doing for our actual shoot, and it will be the anamorphic softies. These are mostly Lumix pancake lenses that are relatively soft. Usually Nikon lenses are a little bit sharper. We're going to start with the Lumix 14mm 2.5, 28mm 35 equivalent, which is the widest we can get this uh, actually with this anamorphic 50. And then we got the 12 32 zoom lens. Again, another Lumix uh, gives you about a basically a 24 to 64 millimeter equivalent. And this is a really nice lens, a 20 millimeter 1.7. If this would be your first, I'd buy this. It's a 40 millimeter equivalent. And then I got this really crappy one, Lumix 14 to 42 millimeter zoom. Uh, it's good. It'll get you about 28, uh, you know, basically 50 or higher. So this is your uh, Panasonic Lumix 14 millimeter. This is the lens I told you about where you can't use a step up ring. You actually got to shove this thing into the lens so you don't see the barrel around the edges. And I use rubber bands and all types of stuff to get this to pull off a 28 millimeter equivalent. And you can see here, it's just really wide around the edges. This is good for establishing shots, but I would never have your characters sitting in the left side of the frame. I would either keep them in the center of the frame. You can see with this guy here, how weird he looks on the edges, but centered, he doesn't look too bad. So that's the widest I can get it. Uh, it's a nice lens. I got a lot of dirt on these lenses. I don't know why. Uh, so Panasonic Lumix 1232mm zoom. Borrowed this from a friend of mine. Very nice. Again, I got 24mm, uh, which is basically a 38 millimeter equivalent. Uh, you know, and uh, this is at 16 f-stop. It's a very bright, foggy day. I wanted to shoot some fog here. So really, really cool. Uh, again, a little bit l not as wide as the other one. And then here's a sweet spot, this beautiful 20 millimeter. I find this really sharp lens, actually. It's a pancake 20 millimeter giving you a 40 millimeter equivalent. You get a wideness to it, but you also get a nice flatness to it as well. So it's kind of in between a 50 and a 35 millimeter feel. Remember, the feel of these lenses are a lot different than spherical based lenses um, because they're, there's like an asymmetrical reality of the millimeter lens. Uh, again, really, really nice lens, I, and I believe I was shot this at 2.5 f-stop, and even 1.7 didn't look too bad either, uh, maybe a little bit soft, but 2.5 is looking pretty good, and we did some, you know, heavy low-light situations here, and all this was done on my Ronin-M, so we did some really quick tests, um, just running out, people thought we were crazy here, just running around, and uh, you can see, like, this shot right here, really nice uh, look to it, and I'm relatively close to him, as you can see. It just gives a nice kind of Blade Runner-esque feel. 